happy Halloween and welcome to my own little yay day Halloween crafting show. I, I gave myself a show guys. Today I'm going to be sharing with you five different Halloween crafts and along the way give you lots of tips about how you can get creative with your printer. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Amber kemp Gerstel, and I am the founder of Yede Paper Co., where every month we launch beautiful printables like stationery, stickers, and lots more. Lots of ways that you can get creative with a tool you probably already have, a printer. In celebration of Halloween, this year we have released an amazing bundle of printables that are perfect for all of the tricks or treats that you wanna give out for Halloween. So if you're liking what you're hearing, go ahead and subscribe. Ring that notification bell, because I'm gonna be honest, I just had a baby not that long ago. He's 10 months old, and it's hard to make these videos on a regular basis, so go ahead, and ring the notification bell. That way you'll know when a video comes out. I'm just keeping it real. All right, and with that out of the way, let's get printy. For our first project, I'm jumping right into our Halloween printable bundle and using the pattern papers to create a reusable, wipeable, and double-sided placemat that is a fun and easy way to set the table for the season. To make this placemat, we want to print edge to edge on this 11 by 17 inch paper. To do that, let's jump into Adobe Acrobat and I'll show you how. In Adobe Acrobat, go ahead and open up the Halloween pattern paper bundle in the 12 by 12 size. Once it's open, you'll see all those pretty pattern papers right there in front of you, and you can scroll through to see all of the designs. I'm going to use this fun orange design for my placemat. Now we're ready to open up the print dialog box. Select current so that you're working with only the page you've selected in the document. Also, you'll want to make sure it's landscape orientation. In the page setup menu, you wanna make sure you've selected the proper printer that you'll be using. Then we're going to change the page size. We don't need US letter for this since we're printing on tabloid size paper. And for edge to edge printing, we're going to select tabloid borderless. Now you'll see that tabloid paper is 17 by 11 inches and that's too big for our 12 by 12 paper. To change this, we're going to increase the custom scale to 150% and then click that little arrow to kind of register the change. You'll see that our 12 by 12 design is now enlarged to fill the entire tabloid sized paper. Now you're ready to head to the printer dialog box. Make sure that you select media and quality because this will allow us to make sure we're printing from the rear tray. You'll also wanna select photo since that's the type of paper we're printing on. And last, select best as the quality. Now you're ready to print. I printed using my Canon TS9521C printer. And here's a cool tip. Because this paper is double-sided, I printed an everyday design on the back, which means I can use this place back for Halloween or any day of the week. Now that we've finished printing, it's time to add a protective layer to our placemat so that you can wipe it clean after every meal. To do that, I'm using a 12 inch wide roll of adhesive laminate. Here's what it looks like now, but let me show you how to apply it. Adhesive laminate is basically one big sheet of clear sticker paper. I'm going to place my placemat paper on top to get a good measure of how much laminate I need. Once I have enough laminate that will cover my placemat, I'm going to trim down the edge. You'll need two pieces for the front and back of your placemat. Now it's time to apply the adhesive laminate. Peel back a corner of the adhesive laminate and apply it to the corner of the printed placemat. Make sure you have some laminate hanging over the edge. Use your hand to smooth the laminate into place until you've covered the entire placemat. Repeat for the other side and apply the adhesive laminate. Once you're done, the edges of your placemat should have adhesive laminate hanging over the side. Now use a ruler and a craft knife to trim down all the edges so that they are even, but make sure you still have some laminate adhesive hanging off the edge. With our double-sided placemat done, all that's left to do is serve up a Halloween meal. All right, 
We're using our placemat for a little after school snack. Marcus, you want to show the back? Yeah, so which which side do you like best? The Halloween side. Yep, all right, how about it? Well, we already made our placemat, so let's make a snack to go with our meal. I'm gonna be making a Halloween chip bag using these printables from our Yay Day printable Halloween bundle. There's three designs, but I think I'm gonna make the pumpkin. To make your Halloween chip bags, you'll need snack size bag of chips, a paper crimper tool, a tape runner, glossy lightweight photo paper. For this project, it's really important that you print borderlessly so that the design goes completely to the edge of the paper. Let me show you how easily you can do that in Adobe Acrobat. In Adobe Acrobat, open the Halloween chip bag PDF, which will include three chip bag designs. For this demonstration, I'm going to make the pumpkin. So I'm going to go to File, then Print. Once in the Print dialog box, I'm going to select Current so that I only print the one pumpkin page. Now I'll select Page Setup and change from that tabloid size we were using earlier. For this, I want to select US letter borderless to make sure I get edge to edge printing. I also wanna make sure I'm selecting the right printer I'll be using. Now all that's left to do is click okay and head over to the printer dialog box. This is where we will get to select the rear tray and the photo paper that we'll be printing on. Also, you always wanna select best as the quality to get the absolute best print. Now we're ready to send this to the printer and assemble our chip bag. Again, I'm printing using my Canon TS9521C printer. To assemble your chip bag, you'll first wanna write any notes that you have in this white area we've provided. Then you can assemble with tape. First, add adhesive to the white striped line on the edge of the paper. Then flip over your paper and add adhesive to the center one third of the top and bottom. Place the chips face down in the center, then wrap the bag around it. Secure the adhesive and then pinch down the top and the bottom to close. Place the top or the bottom of the chip bag into the paper crimper and then turn the knob just a half of a turn. Then turn it back on itself to remove the chip bag and you'll reveal that pretty crimped edge. All right, I've made all the chip bags because I don't know, maybe you wanna open up your own Halloween concession stand. They are so cute and so perfect for favors for classrooms, for your office, maybe just for yourself because you like cute Halloween stuff. Either way, they're really easy to make and I hope you'll make some. All right, let's take a break from all the food and do another Halloween craft, because what you don't see is me over here taking nibbles of all this stuff off camera. Oh wait. This project has candy in it too. Oh, oh well, let's get started. We're gonna make these cute little pumpkin treats filled with orange M&Ms and topped off with a Yay Day gift tag. For this project, you're going to need photo mat cardstock for making our gift tags, green pipe cleaners, scissors, circle-shaped shaker windows, orange M&Ms or any other orange candy, a tape runner, a two and a half inch circle punch, a three inch circle punch, orange, green, and brown cardstock. To start, we're going to cut two three inch circles from orange cardstock. I'm using this giant Fiskars circle punch, but if you don't have this, you could use a Cricut or a pair of scissors will take you a long way. Just cut out a circle. Then use your two and a half inch circle punch to create a hole on the center of one of the circles. To make our candy pumpkin, add adhesive to the back of the circle with the hole cut through it. Then place the shaker window face down into the hole. Fill with candy and then sandwich the other circle onto the back.
Now I'm going to use scissors to create a little more pumpkin shape to this circle. Use scissors to cut a stem and a leaf from the cardstock. Then wrap the pipe cleaner around a pen or a pencil to create a little vine. Now that our pumpkins are done, let's add a cute little tag. Our Yay Day Halloween printable bundle has a ton of tag design, but I think the Hey There Pumpkin tag is perfect for this project. Now, when they print at full size, they're really big. So I'm gonna take you over to Adobe Acrobat to show you easily how you can resize these to be mini tags that are perfect for our pumpkins. Go ahead and open up the Halloween gift tags in Adobe Acrobat. When scrolling through, you'll see the first page has all the gift tags on one page. And then after that, we've created full pages of each design. For this project, I want to use only the Hey There Pumpkin gift tag, but I do want to make the tags smaller and I want to fit more on the page. To do this, I'm going to go over to the right and select Organize Pages. You'll see that all of the pages in the PDF appear on your screen. One by one, I'm going to delete all of the other pages except for the page I want to keep, which in this case is that Hey There Pumpkin gift tag page. Don't worry though, these changes will not change the original document and you'll still be able to access all of those other gift tag designs later. Once you're down to one single page, go to the top and select copy and paste. Do this several times until you have four versions of the exact same page. Now you can select close and go back to the PDF where you'll see you have four identical pages of those Hey There Pumpkin gift tags. Now select file and print where we will be able to make all these tags appear on one page. First, I'm going to make sure that the orientation and size of my paper are correct. In this case, I want portrait orientation and I wanna make sure that my paper is US letter sized. Now I'm going to click multiple. This will allow me to put multiple pages onto one sheet. In this case, I wanna put four pages on one sheet of paper. This takes all my four pages of the PDF and consolidates them to one page. Like always, we're going to make sure we've selected the rear tray, photo paper, and the best quality. Now it's time to print. Once printed, use scissors to cut out each gift tag. And then use a hole punch at the top. String the tag onto the pipe cleaner and your cute pumpkin favor is done. All right, guys, from candy projects to more candy projects. We are making these adorable candy wrappers. Like, seriously, all other Halloween candy wrappers need to stay home this year because these right here, showstoppers. For this project, I'm gonna be breaking out my Cricut Explore and showing you how to print, cut, and assemble and make these candy wrappers for everyone you know and love. For this project, you'll need lightweight photo matte paper. I'm using the Koala 29 pound. Also need a tape runner, assorted candy in boxes, bars, mini candies, whatever you've got. And like I said, we'll be using the Cricut Explore. Let's hop straight into Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how to prepare these projects for printing. In Cricut Design Space, select a new project to open a new canvas. Then click upload on the left menu bar. Click Upload Image and then Browse. This will open up your saved files. For this project, I'm opening up one of the PNG files of our candy bar wrappers, the Vampire. Click Complex and then Continue. 
Save this image as a print then cut image when given the option. Click upload and you'll see this image appear in your uploaded images. For this project, you'll want to repeat those steps to upload the second part of this project. I mean, what's a vampire without a red cape, right? Select both images from your upload library and click add to canvas. You'll see them appear on your canvas, both pieces. You'll want to separate them and work with them separately. To make things as easy as possible, we've given you instructions about how to scale your project for Cricut and Silhouette. This one needs to be scaled to 6.75 inches wide, and I'll make that change at the top menu where it says Width. This will also automatically make the necessary changes to the height. Now I will do the exact same thing to the second piece of this project, the cape. And just like that, this project is ready to print and cut. Head over and click Make It in the top right corner. Next, you'll click Continue on the bottom right part of your screen. Now we're going to click Send to Printer, and from here we want to use the System dialog box, so toggle that switch to On. Now click Print, and your System dialog box will open, allowing you to make the necessary print settings that you need. Most importantly, we need to print from the rear tray and select the best quality. To assemble your vampire, place adhesive on the inside of one of the capes. Sandwich the other cape on top and stick it down. Now, grab your candy bar. Add adhesive to the side of the vampire face and wrap it around the candy bar. Add adhesive to the center of the red side of his cape. Place the candy bar on top and then wrap around the cape to close. So cute! We even included this little tag that you can adhere to the back to write a special message. Use the same strategy to assemble the witch and the bats. For Frankenstein, simply wrap it around a box of candy. If you ever get confused about which candy to use, we've given you instructions on each printable telling you how they were designed. Like the vampire, it was made for wide candy bars. Now we've made all those cute candy bars, but I do want to show you one quick hack that will allow you to take this Frankenstein wrapper from a candy box to a box of crayons. Let's head over to Cricut Design Space and I'll show you how. Open up the Frankenstein candy wrapper in Cricut Design Space. You can ignore the scale dimensions at the top of the printable since we want to make this for a crayon box. I've selected shapes from the sidebar menu to place a square onto the canvas. I'm going to make the square red so it's easy for you to see. Now I want to resize the square to be the same size as a crayon box. I've unlocked the icon at the bottom left of the square to make it easier to change the dimensions. My crayon box is 2.75 inches by 3.75 inches, so I've made those changes. Drag the rectangle into the center of your canvas and then begin resizing the Frankenstein printable so that it will fit around the crayon box. A good guide here is to just cover the Frankenstein face with the red rectangle. That way you know it will wrap around the crayon box pretty perfectly. I also like to use those little zigzag markings at the bottom of the Frankenstein design as a guide. 
If those zigzags are the same width as the rectangle, you're good to go. Now you can delete the rectangle and send this to print and cut. Once he's all printed out and cut, simply wrap around an eight pack of Crayola crayons. You'll have a little gap on the back, but that's okay. You can still assemble with double-sided tape. This is the perfect pairing for our free Yayday Halloween printable coloring page. Grab it at the link below. To package these up, I'm placing the crayons and the coloring page into a Ziploc bag, then topping it off with our Yayday printable treat bag topper, which is designed to fit on a Ziploc sandwich bag. I like to close off the treat bag topper with a staple. Bonus points if it's a mini pink stapler. How cute is this? I'm, I'm telling you, I don't know which of these projects I'm going to make for my son's class. Maybe I'll make all of them. That might be too much, right? I have one more idea for you. It's a non-candy, non-food Halloween treat, and you're going to love it because kids love these. Everyone loves these. Contemporary tattoos made with a printer. It's possible. Let's do it. Like I said, you can make your own temporary tattoos from your printer, and it's really easy using a few simple supplies. To make your own temporary tattoos, here's what you'll need. Printable temporary tattoo paper, a ruler, and of course, a pair of scissors. As always with printing, we have to first prepare our file. For working with temporary tattoo paper, you first have to flip or mirror your image. I'm gonna show you how you can easily take our printable Halloween sticker sheet and flip it using Adobe Acrobat. Let's go. Open the Halloween bundle icon stickers in Adobe Acrobat. Then on the right side, click Edit PDF. Then click on the icon stickers until there's a blue rectangle around them. Next, click on the mirror image icon. It looks like two vertical triangles facing each other. This will flip the entire sticker sheet vertically. You can check by looking at the words at the bottom of the page to make sure they're flipped. Now that our image is flipped in Adobe Acrobat, we're ready to send it to print. But I wanna show you which paper to print on because your temporary tattoo paper kit will come with two materials inside. One material will be the glossy paper that you'll print on. The other will be the adhesive we'll use after printing. I'm loading the temporary tattoo paper into the rear tray of my Canon crafting printer. Then we'll want to make sure to select glossy as the paper type. Once it comes out of the printer, we're going to add the adhesive layer. To do this, peel back one corner of the adhesive. Align the rest of the paper on top of your temporary tattoo print then stick down the corner. Now use a ruler while pulling off the backing to smooth the adhesive into place. This helps avoid any air bubbles. All right, I've got all these temporary tattoos. I'm gonna take them home because I have a certain six-year-old who I know is gonna love them. Four. You wanna pick out four? Okay, you can pick out one right now. Which one do you want? Yeah, okay, let's start with that one. So to put it on, we have to, okay, peel back that clear part. Like that. Okay, now we're gonna stick it. Where do you want it? Okay. okay. And then we have to take a wet, take a wet cloth and Hold it on there, a few seconds. <laughs> what do you think, Dracula? Let me see. <laughs> so cool. I never knew what to do with my hands. To make this placemat, 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 so we should, we should learn how to talk.